All right, guys, Arlington Lock over in Falls Church was kind enough to send me a whole bunch of locks that apparently took off of different jobs. So leftover stuff, but interesting nonetheless. This is a tiny little Yale. I've never seen one quite this little. Um, yeah, it probably went to a filing cabinet or, you know, a desk or something they had to get into. I've got to be careful because the two screws off the actuator are missing. So if I were just to, you know, open it and pull the key out, the core would probably pop that off and slide right out. So, yeah. So let's just pinch it out and take a look at the key. Oh, excellent. Excellent bidding, uh, but absolutely filthy. Take a look at that. So there's all kinds of gumminess up inside of there, and it's a tiny, tiny little keyway. So, yeah, this might be some fun. Let me, um, as, I'm, as I'm looking at the lock, I'm looking over at my tray that I got from 3D Lock Sport, and they do have a little adapter for it. So I might be able to, if it'll fit. Man, that ought to fit. I can force it. Oh, yeah. Let me mount this up in the vise, and let's see if we can get this little guy picked open. I just hope that doesn't spin around in there, but we'll find out. All right, guys, the 3D lock sport thing didn't work because there's nothing to prevent this little lock from spinning around in the holder. So we got what we got. Um, let's see what we got here in terms of tensioning. See if this little guy, not long enough, okay? Let's try this old... Old from Mad Bob, still around. I wish that company was still around. It's beat, but it's got a real fine tip, so sometimes for my tiny locks, it works out. This one looks like he will work. So let's try that. And for a pick, let's try... Let's try this guy. It is a the V31 from Multipick. It's one of the SS Dev profiles, but... Blue band means 15,000. It's really thin, so he should. He should fit in there. Maybe. Let's try it. Man, nope. Yeah, he's dragging. So when he goes up in there, that piece of warding right there is snagging him. Just barely, but enough to rob all of the feedback. So I'll tell you what. Let's try something. I don't want to struggle. I'm not a struggler. I have another pick here that I keep on the bench for those emergencies. This is from Rare Elements. I have no idea what that Sanskrit means, but it's in ten thousandths. This is literally like ten foil. I hesitate to use these except on really tight paracentric keyways. And this looks like it might be a good candidate. All right, here we go. Moderate tension. And it feels like he's sliding a little better. He's still dragging on that paracentric keyway, though. Come on, baby. Where are you? Okay, that was pin four. Come on. I need an 8,000. Okay, that was pin 4 again. That was pin 5. That felt like pin 3. That felt like pin 1. And there we go, pin five. Wow. You know, the the paracentric keyway and the tininess of it, I guess, is what made this the real challenge. I mean, for a desk drawer or for, you know, a filing cabinet, pretty good lock, I would imagine. All right. Um, let's get a pinning tray over here. And let's see what this old Yale has inside. All right, I should be able to just pop this off because there are no screws in it. Look at that filth inside of there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. This is an American or master lock. I'm not sure. Let's try it. Let's try it. See if it's... Eh, it's too big. 
All right, let's try. This one is supposedly just a little bit smaller, and he works. All right, so it is the right diameter for an American. Uh, the top of the cylinder, let me get the crud off of it here, has been flattened, probably to fit the pins at the factory. You know, there are probably some of them maybe a little long, so they just filed everything off to get it all working right. They are brass, and that explains why it would turn one way but not the other. Because just differences in the angle in which they filed it. Look at that. That crud is holding those pins in there. And number five. All right. Nothing weird about it. Let's take a look inside. Give me them tweezers. I don't expect to find anything unusual in here, but you never know. I know what you're hoping for. There's a gutting disaster, which is probably on the near event horizon. Oh, check that out. That's probably only to retain the spring. If that had been turned around the other way, that could have been nasty. I wonder why they didn't do that. Yep, standard. That is a weird pin, and I I don't know why they didn't plug that in there the other way. Let's flip it around and get the other side. Light's better. Whoa. Look at all the corrosion on this guy. And the last one. Standard. All these are standard except that one in number two. Springs. They're probably just crudded in there. Nothing unusual about those, I don't think. But this is the one I find interesting. Well, here's what the pinning looks like. I mean, it's nothing real special, except for this guy. That is not a pin I would have expected to find inside of there. If only that had been pointed down towards the shear line instead of that narrow end back up towards the spring. That would have given you an awesomely deep fault set. And that, my friends, is how I'm going to put it back in. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Arlington Lock, thank you, gentlemen, for this piece of history. Thanks, guys.